Hey y'all, it's KB Maria. Welcome back to another vlog. I am waiting to get gas. Expensive gas. Um, so yeah, it's like a line out here, but I'm next. And I'm hungry. So I think I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A, but I don't know what the line looks like. We'll see. Really, I came out the house to get um, some stuff from Target. The kids are asleep. It's eight o'clock. My kids go to bed. August maybe 7:30 maybe at the latest and then River by 8 she's in the bed. So, they're both in the bed and that allows either Malcolm or I to get out and run an errand sometimes during the week or sometimes Malcolm will meet up with his friends. So, yeah, I'm going to Target and then that also means that I'm going to go other places because I can't just go to Target if I'm out. I got to go everywhere that's nearby the target so that's what I'm doing but I do need gas I need gas and I need to go to target and I kind of need to go to TJ Maxx because I want to find some workout clothes y'all I don't work out let's just start there but I think I'm gonna join this gym that does like boot camp style training like workouts because I need I need someone to hold me accountable. And if I have to do something at home, on YouTube, I'm not gonna do it. And the crazy thing is, I'm probably gonna have to get up at the crack of dawn to go because that's the only time that works with my schedule like before my kids get up, like five in the morning maybe. So y'all just, you know, pray my strength on that. We gonna see how that work out. But I think I might do it. But I need gym clothes first before I sign up for the gym because I don't wanna sign up for the gym and I got no clothes. You feel me? So that's what we're about to do. I'll probably take y'all in with me. I might get some footage on my phone because I'm really not down to have my camera. Can we pull off? Y'all see this? Crazies. Why are you acting? See, that's not even necessary. You speeding at the local department store, discount store, and that's not even necessary, girl. Nobody's even over here looking at you. So yeah, I'm about to get this gas. Prayerfully, it won't be more than like sixty dollars. Yo, gas is really ridiculous. I remember when gas it was like ten dollars to fill up my first car. What was my first car? Was it a Dodge Neon? My black neon? I'm pretty sure it was a black Dodge Neon. It was like a '97, I think. Wait, when did I start driving? That sound real. Wait, was it a girl? I don't know. But either way, we was ten dollars to fill up. Okay, we was in these Atlanta streets. <laughs> Hello, it's the next day. So I did go to Target and TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross um, and get gas yesterday. But it was so late and I was in and out. The stores were about to close and I really didn't get much. Well, I did get River a new suitcase. So I will show that to you because it's so cute. And because we were looking for her a um, hard suitcase. Her grandma bought her one, but it's like a soft one and it's ran and read it so i got that one i just saw it walking out i was like let me go ahead and get it river's cool on Minnie mouse but if y'all don't know my baby's like huge on um like superheroes and ghost spider from the spider-man series and stuff but she rocked with with mickey and minnie a little bit so i got her that i think she'll like it she hasn't seen it yet and that was 39.99 from ross and if y'all don't know, if you see something in Ross, you gotta get it because it will be gone. Literally, as I was walking out the store, the lady behind me was like, oh my God, that suitcase is so cute. I wish I would've found that for my little girl. Can I take a picture? I'm like, yeah, you can take a picture, but um, I'm not gonna give up my suitcases, okay? But yeah, so I got that and then at Target, I just got some like a pajama set and some envelopes and index cards because River has a sight words test at school. Let, let me, my baby just turned three in January. Her sight words this week are, no, going, once, and the other two were over there again and every. She is three. So, yeah, I'm about to um, fix me something to eat and get started with work. The kids are off of school. Malcolm's going to work. And I have to film something later, which is why my hair is still uh, twisted because I want it to just be, you know, fresh for later. I've got a client call. I've got some, some stuff to get out today, so I will check in with y'all, you know, when I get a free moment, but yeah. It's a little bit later. I um, have on makeup now because I'm about to film, there's toys everywhere. I'm about to film a um, 
quick little something for a brand that I'm working with. And I need my camera and I need my little microphone, I think. Hopefully this can be done in like four minutes and then so I gotta get right back to work. So yeah. Who's home? Chunk a doo. Hey. Oh, to the face every time. Hey. And. <laughs> Babe. I keep looking up here. I keep forgetting that. That ain't the screen. Rivers um, in aftercare still. So we'll, we'll get her in a second. Hey, Chunk a doo. Hey. How y'all doing today? <laughs> Whatever day y'all watching this. You smell nice. You got that cologne on. No, this is a little cheap cologne from your sister. Imposter. Why I gotta be cheap? I mean, it ain't. It's what they call them? Imposter. Like a replica? It's a replica of a real cologne. It smells good though. It does smell good. I keep it in the car. Just okay. in case I need to. Spritzy spray. I like that a lot. I don't know what the replica is of. I like that. Figure out the trick to the trade, everybody. I mean, it's all the same One stuff. One squirt. Oh yeah, it did. On the neck. I yeah. was going hard back in mm -hmm. the day. Eyes used to be, used to be bow, bow, raining, bow, bow. okay? I used, to the... do, I used to do four sprays. So. In the neck? No, one in the neck. Pit, pit, in the crotch. Nah, the stomach. Oh, the hot spot. Nah, you know you get belly sweat when you're sitting down. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> no. Was... Yeah, you used to be going ham. Now, but that's like a soft scent too. I didn't really smell it until you walked over here. And then I put I put one on the back of my hand and I do this. But you wash your hands throughout the day so it fades. Mm -hmm. But it's still on there a little bit. Mm-hmm. It smell it. It almost doesn't smell like a cologne, like not like a perfume, but it's like very soft for a cologne. Mm. But I like it. It is kind of soft, man. Mm-hmm. I know y'all wanna wear it anymore. Now that you have it. <laughs> I don't want a cologne. I mean, it ain't, I mean, it's strong when you first put it on. Yeah, it's a, I can't remember which one that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like the Aqua de Gio or something like that. Well, this smells nice. Okay, uh, so. Oh, my bad. Anyway. Excuse me. It's almost five. Yeah, I have therapy, virtual therapy at five. So Malcolm's gonna go get Poosh from school. We gotta figure out dinner. I'll probably make her some spaghetti tomorrow. And some green beans. She gets salad today. We got lettuce? Yep. What, what else? If y'all have picky eaters, please send suggestions. Son. Because can't have that. River doesn't eat meat too tough. She'll eat ground turkey and like spaghetti and tacos and stuff. Yeah, it's she doesn't really eat nothing else. She gets like vegan chicken nuggets and stuff. And then she's allergic to almost everything. Um, so it's very hard for us. Accurate though. I, I mean, for the nuts for sure. The nuts for sure, but like milk. I don't know because she's had milk and not. She had eats milk in products, but she doesn't drink like. She had milk with her cereal, like when we don't have the, the... I don't think it causes her like a reaction, but I think that it might cause her like stomach discomfort maybe. Like trying to digest it. I don't know. Yeah. But like she won't eat eggs. She won't even eat eggs. She don't like eggs. Because and she's allergic. Is... She's allergic to salmon, cod, she nuts, peanuts. Peanuts are beans if you didn't know. Um, it's just... It's an everyday struggle when she gets home. Like, what are we gonna feed her? Because sometimes we'll eat things that she won't eat or can't eat and having to make a separate meal is tough. So if it's like vegan or vegetarian, that's pretty safe for us because it's, for the most part, it doesn't have things in it that she can't eat. So let me go get set up for my session. And um, Oh, while we at it, guess who's been in the fridge? For a week now. Wait, no, no. Let everybody see it. <laughs> what is this? A cup of juice. This is not a cup. It's a. That's a good thirst right. quencher. Matter wait, of fact, why, I'll drink that now. Actually, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Don't turn off the camera yet. 
Because guess what I got? Don't, no, I, 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 I didn't turn it off. I just want y'all to see that this is about to be a whole little swig right here. No, you said a cup. A cup of juice. Look at that. That's a whole cup. That is a lot. That is a half of a cup. And if you had that with your dinner, you'd be pissed <laughs> off. Stop leaving empty stuff in the fridge. Half a cup. You could have finished that when you was drinking it last night. I time. had a whole big old cup and this was too much. That's a lot. Just taking up valuable fridge space. A gallon. What you call that little bit of juice? This is a lot of juice. That that was two big old swigs. I still got two big old swigs left, sir. Y'all see what I gotta do? With? We'll, we'll keep this going. You be um, trying to act like I leave a little bit of juice in a container, and I don't. It's a hard one. Or a little bit of chips in a bag, and I don't. You do. It's enough to snack on. All right. Listen. This is the first uh, iteration of my conversation. You just wait. Whatever. What'd you get? He got a surprise. He got a surprise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay! Show mommy. Look at this. Oh, it's cold. Yes, <laughs> it's so I mean, this is the so cool one. <laughs> I did the cold. You so excited? It was done. Hey. You got your little person? Oh, you love me now? Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. <laughs> I love you too. I want my dinner and then I'm going to get one little treat. Yeah, you had your dinner and now you had a treat. That is a treat. That is a treat. It's sweet, ain't it? Mm -hmm. What? What you got to say? Huh? Oh, now you don't want to talk. When did you get so big? Why are your legs so long? Goodness gracious. Look like a real big girl, okay? Not ready. Girl, she just threw up a piece of it. Like, awesome. <laughs> okay, let's do your sight words really quick. Let's see if you remember. You just got two words. Whoa, take it easy. Okay. What's the first one? Let's sound again. Yay! And what's the second one? Sound it out, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Hello. It is the next day. I don't know where I left off from blogging. So yeah, I'm working right now, and I've been on calls. I am about to make a to-do list because one thing that helps me with my anxiety and like feeling overwhelmed and stressed is making lists. Like literally, if I need to send an email or put something on my calendar, I write down, put X on your calendar because that offloads it from my mind. Like I don't have to keep trying to remember it and then I can execute. I can start sc scratching stuff off, checking things off and it just makes me feel accomplished. And then I can look back and say, you know, I did do something. You know, I did get things done. Um, even if they're small things, right? So. I have a huge action list from a call. I just got off a call with um, a partner on one of my cases and somebody's calling my phone. Let's see. I'm back in the car. I just got completely sidetracked, but um, I'm about to pick Poosh up from school and um, take her to um, an appointment that she has. And I'm just in the car trying to get my life together, sending emails and trying to get stuff scheduled. But just wanted to pop back in and try to keep this thing tight. Y'all, this is just fabric. I get questions all the time about my wraps 
they're not actually head wraps it's just fabric that I got from the fabric store well it's not from the fabric store it's from um oh I can't recall the name of it but it's a store in the West End I don't know if they're still there um if you're from Atlanta and you know what I'm talking about it's that really small store that's across the street from the mall and I went in there and bought some fabric and then I just cut it and use it as a tie I've actually worn this as a shirt like a top but yeah that's what I do so let me go get this little girl and get going yeah it's a whole nother day I don't even know I don't even know what's going on but I am in my office. It's my closet, but it's also an office because I got my little desk over there and I'm actually about to work. It's, um, what time is it? It's, um, it's nine o'clock basically. Um, we got the kids down. River will sleep at eight, August, probably about 7.45. And then Malcolm and I went to her respective places for about 20 minutes and then we reconvened in the kitchen um, because we have some stuff to get from the grocery store. So Malcolm just left to go get groceries. And I am about to start working because um, you could probably imagine that my day is interrupted sometimes by like um, August gets home around 4.30 and then I pick up River from aftercare and um, I help them get out the door in the morning which kind of delays my start but I'm working on that. It's not their fault like I technically could just wake up earlier so you know I'm working on it too and then once we get them in the bed and we have a few moments to like decompress, then we'll either do nothing together on the couch or we will work or work on something else that needs to be done, like dishes and that kind of stuff. So tonight is a work night for me. Some nights I'm up till three o'clock in the morning. I'm really trying not to do that anymore. I would love to wake up at like five o'clock in the morning. Well, I wouldn't love to, but it would be better if I could wake up early as opposed to staying up late. And primarily because I want to join... Um, a gym that has this boot camp program and the first class is at 5 30 in the morning and i would that would be perfect for my schedule because i could do the class and be back home before my kids wake up and that is ideal because trying to do the gym during the day does not work with my work schedule the evening does not work with my lifestyle even after my kids are asleep i'm not going to work out at this time of night no ma'am i have no energy so um but before i join and pay any money, I am forcing myself to start waking up at five o'clock in the morning first. Because once I can do that, then I know that I can also go to the gym and be in the class at 530. So um, yeah, that's my, my goal. I have not started to implement actually waking up sooner. So I need to do it in like 30 minute intervals. I just be so tired in the morning. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I need to do some time entries. I need to work on some reports and client updates and I need to make a to-do list. I think I mentioned before like I like to do lists and write everything down because I felt like I didn't have my list today and I was just kind of like winging it and it just I felt very unproductive. I feel way more productive when I'm like scratching and checking things off. So I'm about to make a list. I need to twist my hair. I couldn't find my bonnet but some nights I will um use my spray bottle to wet it and then put like moisturizer and oil or just oil or just moisturizer it's whatever's nearby i'll just put a little bit in there and retwist it so tonight is one of those nights that i'm gonna do it y'all my hair is like naturally just dry i have very dry hair my hair can be soaking wet and it can look dry but um i have to keep it moisturized so water is huge for my hair and if i wet it and oil it and then twist it the next day it'll like be a little bit shinier so um it's been about two days since i've done that so it's looking much drier so yeah and i need to get my inch trimmed i just have not made an appointment to go to a salon but i really don't like going to the hair salon y'all i despise it so that's why i don't go up like once every three years for real <laughs> i haven't been since 2020 i think Maybe it was way it was before I was pregnant with August. I know that much, but I don't know when the last time I've been to a salon. So, yeah, I'm going to start working and I'm not going to bore y'all with footage of me tapping away on a laptop. But just wanted to bring y'all in to see what it's like. I don't feel like this vlog really showed a lot. I didn't take y'all with me today um, when I had to run an errand, but 
this weekend hopefully will be a little bit more eventful so yeah i will see y'all in my next one thanks so much for watching